Welcome to Rock Solid Productions, where in this video we are going to check out the KMD Dual Game Grip Grip Case for the Nintendo Switch. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, Gary here with Rock Solid Productions. Now, before we get into today's video, I just want to take a second and say thank you for stopping by and checking out what we have going on here today. I really do appreciate it. If you like what you see here, I invite you to check out some of the other videos that we have here on the channel including an entire playlist dedicated just to KMD accessories. And if you really like what you see here, do me a huge favor. Hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and more important than ever, hit that notification bell. That way, each and every time we upload new content or go live, you are kept informed and up to date because YouTube, they're not sending out emails anymore. So this is the only way that you are alerted when we do have new video content for you to check out. Now, what I wanna know from you today here, watching this video, the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, three of the greatest games ever produced. There are three masterpieces. Which one's your favorite out of those three? The original one still has a special place in my heart. I remember playing it on the original PlayStation, how good it was, how frustrating it was. So much fun, but I wanna know from you, which Crash game do you like the best? So the folks over at KMD have sent us a lot of different products to check out recently. Again, check out our full KMD playlist if you wanna see them all. But this guy here is really interesting. This is the, the dual game grip case, designed to not only be a case for your Nintendo Switch, but also give you an opportunity to store cartridges when you're on the go. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this out of the box, we're gonna check it out on the bench, see the fitment on our Nintendo Switch, and just see how does it play when this is on our Switch. Let's go. So here we have the dual game grip on the bench here on the box, and just taking a real quick look at it. it has a protective hard shell case, easily snaps on and off, soft and comfortable grip, storage space for two additional games. Um, so it's pretty interesting the way that they have all that set up. This side here has pretty much the exact same messaging, protective case, easy on off, soft and comfortable, storage space for additional games, and nothing really on that side. But on the back, enjoy your Nintendo Switch on the go with the KMD Dual Game Grip, travel light and enjoy portable gameplay with its ergonomics and high quality grip, whether docked or on the go, so you can use a dock, that's awesome. Uh, get easy access to all your Switch's inputs. With an extra game storage, you'll never, uh, or you'll have enough for two additional games without a carrying case. Uh, dock protective heart choke, I like the fact that it's dockable. Uh, ultimately soft, comfortable grip. Uh, storage space for two additional games for light travel. Full access to your kickstand, power volume, charge port, and headphones. Easily snaps on or off for removal, and then it has other languages down below. And then down here you can see it basically has the blue and the red on the back of the Joy-Cons that cut out there for the kickstand and everything. So I'm really interested to check this out. And the side here, there's a piece of tape there and there which we've already cut through. Let's check this bad boy out. I really like the idea of this. I'm hoping I'm gonna like the execution. Okay, so it has some styrofoam here to kind of help it keep its shape and transit. Ah, very cool. So the game just snaps right in here uh, to hold it into place. And then same thing there. I actually have a couple of games we're gonna test out right away. So this is just a TPU material and uh, just holds the game cart right like that. That's pretty slick. And then we've got a copy of Dead Cells we're gonna throw in on that side there. Same basic thing. Um, it's adhered somehow to, you know, kind of a hard plastic centerpiece. So that makes sense too, why um, they would say that this would fit in the dock because this is a really slim, low profile sort of setup. What I'm gonna do first is I am going to pop the Joy-Cons off. And this is my Star, uh, Star Wars Stormtrooper edition. Uh, if you guys wanna see how I did that, I will have a link uh, up in the upper corner for you to show you how to do that. Um, so make sure that you're centered up here. You need those holes to line up with the little divots underneath. You know, make sure that you're all aligned here. Your charge port should be centered and then those two should be centered in those holes there as well. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to slide in our Joy-Cons. So there is the first one right like that. Snaps into place. I'm going to turn on the volume so you can hear the regular switch sound and whatnot. And our second one. 
So very comfortable, I will say that for starters. Um, I do like the fact, and I'm gonna turn the music down on the game a little bit here. Um, I do like the built-in humps, and I've said that on similar cases in the past, that this does give me a better overall grip on my Switch than just playing it normally in handheld mode. Um, this is a, a rubberized TPU and it does have a bit of a texturing to it, so it should not be slippery. It does provide full access here to the kickstand. Come on you, there we go. So it'll sit right like that in tabletop mode. No obstructions to the vent up top, good access to the headphone jack and to the game port and everything there too. Now you've got good access to the release buttons if you did want to pop the Joy-Cons out here. You know, and again, I just overall well put together. Let me let me increase the brightness a little bit here so you can see a little bit better. We'll play just a, a moment of crash. Now for me right now, I have to say I'm I'm not holding the grip as I should be. Let me just put it here that way. It's resting more in this part of my hand than the palm, um, but I am just trying to get you a better look at how everything looks here. I love the audio in this game is so good. Um, I think that's one of the reasons why I fell in love with it back in the day. Um, was a it was stupid, and by stupid I mean awesome. Um, the graphics were great. I keep wanting to hit A to jump, and I know that that's wrong. Every time I come back, if I haven't played this in a while, I have to retrain my brain. Um, but yeah, this is actually pretty comfortable. And then I do have the extra benefit as well of having those couple extra games uh, in the grips if need be. So uh, pretty nice. Let's wrap things up. So there you have it, our look at the dual game grip case from KMD for the Nintendo Switch. And what do I think about it? Well, it's really comfortable and it is convenient that you can store two, uh, two different cartridges in the grips themselves. I did find it difficult getting this to work on my Switch well docked. It just didn't seem like it was making good contact. It would blink on and off for me. Um, now I do have a third party faceplate essentially on my Switch dock, and that may be causing the issue. But I did try this on other docks, didn't work. So uh, that is something to be aware of. They do say that it should work on docks. I didn't have the best of luck with it. Um, it is comfortable, it is well vented, it is overall well designed, um, and it's budget friendly. If you are looking for a way to transport your Switch and have better grip on it, protect the back on it, while still carrying a couple extra cartridges, this does the job pretty decently but let me know what you think down in the comments this is just my opinion here also like i mentioned at the beginning of this video i want to know from you what is your favorite crash bandicoot game of all time for me it's got to be the first one it's such a classic now if you do have any other comments or questions as always feel free to leave them down below in the comments section you can also go ahead and email me at rocksolidmail at gmail.com you can hit me up on twitter at rocksolidstudios we are on facebook at facebook.com slash rocksolidproductions and instagram at instagram.com slash rocksolidproductions GK. Now, if you did want to pick one of these guys up, I will have a link down below to our Amazon affiliate storefront where we should have a link for this that you guys can pick one up. Now, if you do want to help support the future of Rock Solid Productions, we actually have a couple different ways that you can do that. First and foremost, use that affiliate link on Amazon. That definitely helps. We have a ton of different items up there, over 200 different items up there from soldering gear, from different games to systems to clone systems, one-up cleaning cars. We've got a lot of different stuff up there. You can also go ahead, head on over to our Patreon page at patreon.com slash rocksolid. For as little as a dollar a month, $12 a year, you get exclusive early access to all of our content, exclusive content, and more. You get all those exact same benefits and a special badge next to your name anytime time you comment or post if you do become a channel member here on YouTube as well. That starts at $1.99 a month. There's a couple different levels on there too. And you can also head on over to our Teespring store on screen right now where we have t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, and more all featuring the Rock Solid Productions logo on a different modern or retro style cartridge. And we just got this in here today. This is a sample of what the hoodie looks like and that features a 16-bit cartridge on the front and then on the back now this is exclusive for me nobody else is going to get this one at least for now i want this one just for me but we do have the uh, rock Solid productions logo um, what looks to be a joy con grip and a couple joy cons there too so uh, i am looking forward to wearing that once the weather gets a little bit cooler out if you are looking for any other accessories 
cables, adapters, clone systems, anything along those lines for modern or retro game systems, do me a huge favor. Head on over to castlemaniagames.com. Visit my friend Ryan, and the cool thing over there is he has a feature called Castle Cash, where the more you spend, the more you earn towards future purchases. And the really awesome thing is if you use promo code ROCKSOLID10, you save 10% off of most items on the website. Thank you, Ryan, for everything that you do for the retro and modern gaming community. You are the man. We really do appreciate it. And like I mentioned at the top of this video, if you like what you see here, if you want to see more, do me a huge favor. Hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that bell notification because YouTube's not sending out emails anymore. So that is going to be the only way you get alerted of new Rock Solid Productions content. Um, this is definitely a neat way to play. I like it just from the grip standpoint. The fact that it also provides protection on the back and cartridge storage, that's another nice benefit of this. My name is Gary and this has been Rockstar Productions and our look at the KMD Dual Game Grip Grip. Dual Game Grip Grip? The Grip 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 KMD. Rockstar Productions, I thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon.